Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. Got a little quick tip for you today. It's a way you can use parameter modulation to humanize hi-hat parts. So this is a one-shot sample of a hi-hat. No variation, all the same velocity and everything. I'm using a JS plugin called Volume Pan Smoother. And with it, I'm using parameter modulation. And I'll play it back. So you can hear it's a lot more dynamic. It has an accent and then some quieter notes. It's panning a little left and right, uh, which for electronic music is fine, but for rock music, obviously, probably wouldn't pan the hi-hat. Going to grab the volume and look at that parameter modulation. The saw L shape, which means that the left side has the accent. Speed is one quarter note, strength is 18%, and it's going in the negative direction. Let's look at the pan. Very similar, got a triangle shape, one quarter note, strength is 53%, and it's centered. That means it starts in the middle and goes left and right. The volume, I want it to only go downwards. So it starts from zero and goes down. And this one starts in the middle, goes left and right about 50%. And as you can hear, it makes a huge difference in the mix. So let's check this out in the mix. First, without the volume pan shaper and the parameter modulation. And with it. Now, obviously, there's a volume difference, but that's kind of the point. I'm showing you how to do some automatic volume automation to get some humanizing on some hi-hats. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the website with a Patreon donation. And visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.